Delta T is the most common term in the HVAC industry. It means the difference in temperature between two points. For example, if water enters an evaporator at 12 degrees Celsius and leaves at 7 degrees Celsius in the chiller system, then the delta T is 5 degrees Celsius. For example, a chiller system's design delta T is 6 degrees. During the operation of this chiller, the water enters the evaporator at 13 degrees Celsius and leaves at 6 degrees Celsius from the system. So, the delta T is really 7 degrees Celsius. In this case, the operational delta T is higher than design delta T. If the chiller system has a high delta T, this means that it is working properly and efficiently. For example, a chiller system's design delta T is 6 degrees. During the operation of this chiller, the water enters the evaporator at 10 degrees Celsius and leaves at 7 degrees Celsius from the chiller system. So, the delta T is really 3 degrees Celsius. In this case, the chiller's operational delta T is lower than design delta T. This is called low delta T. If the delta T is lower than the manufacturer's specified value, then it is low delta T. It's usually called low delta T syndrome because it can cause problems to a chiller system. Every chiller system will experience low delta T at some point during its continued operation. Low delta T causes cold water pumps to operate at a higher speed to increase the flow rate. It also reduces the efficiency of a chiller system and consumes more energy. Low delta T syndrome is the result of insufficient use of cold water at AHU or FCU. Other reasons for low delta T can be Oversized chillers, pumps, coils, control valves, and cold water piping. Dirty air filters or cooling coils which restricts airflow.